Welcome to the second week of lectures. In this unit, we will give an introduction to a model checking software called New SMV. Let's start with module 1 of this unit. We will see an introduction about general model checking tools. In the last unit, we saw how to model different kinds of code as transition systems. In particular, we saw how to model hardware circuits, data dependent programs and various kinds of parallel programs as transition systems. What do we do with these models? We will try to use these models to answer the following question. How reliable is the code? Normally, a code comes with a set of requirements that it needs to satisfy. For example, if x is a variable in the code, one of the requirements could be that the value of x is always between 0 and 50. Another example, if x and y are variables, one requirement could be that x is less than y always during the execution of the code. Yet another example, whenever x becomes bigger than 50, y should become bigger than 200. These are some requirements. One way of checking if the requirements hold on the code is to give test cases and check if the solutions meet the requirements. When the size of the code or the number of parallel interacting components is large, doing a manual verification is difficult. It is also possible that subtle errors go unnoticed. This is where we could make use of our models for the code. Checking these requirements can be done on the model of the code. As we saw before, this technique of checking requirements on a model of the code is said to be model checking. I have listed some examples of requirements. Here is a system of three parallel programs. One of the requirements is, is x greater than or equal to zero always. These are two parallel programs with an inbuilt logic for maintaining mutual exclusion. One of the requirements could be to check if both the programs are not in their critical section simultaneously. Model checkers are tools which can perform this task. One needs to enter the model of the code in the format of the model checker and the requirements yet again in the format of the model checker. These two are the inputs. Once these two inputs are given, the model checkers can automatically solve the question whether the model satisfies the requirements. Some of the open source model checkers are SPIN and New SMV. These are the most famous ones. SPIN is particularly suited for modeling and verification of concurrent systems. New SMV is most suited for hardware circuits. The kind of requirements that New SMV can check is richer as compared to the model checker SPIN. One cannot make a generic statement saying that one model checker is better than the other. It depends on the kind of questions that you are trying to solve. In this course, we would try to learn how to use the model checker new SMV. The format of SPIN is different from that of new SMV. However, if you learn new SMV, it would very well be easier for you 
to learn spin. There are a lot of online tutorials available to learn spin. I will now give you the websites from where you can download and install new SMV. Go to this web page newsmv.fbk.eu. In this web page, you will find a lot of details about new SMV. To install, click on this link new SMV 2.5.4. There are two possibilities. Either you can download the new SMV source code or you can download pre-compiled binaries of new SMV. For this course, we do not care about the source code. So you could directly download the new SMV binary files. Clicking on that link brings you to a registration page. Once you register, you will get to a page from where you can download the binary corresponding to your architecture. Mac users can download new SMV from this page. This brings us to the end of this module. Let me summarize what we have seen in this module. We claimed that models of code can be used for verifying requirements. Model checkers are tools which can take both the model of the code and the requirements in a certain format and can check if the requirements are true on this model. We introduced the model checker new SMV. New SMV stands for new symbolic model verifier. Please install new SMV on your machines because this week we would learn to use the model checker new SMV.